Our next guest performs with a spastic intensity like a volcano about to explode. And when he does, hilarity everywhere. We're covered in it. He's also made a name for himself with countless appearances in classic commercials, which even earned him an award for best actor. That's right, it's time for the very hilarious Mr. Darren Frost. All right, yeah. Woo, all right. It's good to be here, folks. I recently turned 33 and my metabolism is slowing down. Maybe some of you kids don't know what I'm talking about. That means you get fat. That's right, my life story is gonna be called Fatty Fatty Bang Bang when I'm done. <laughs> Woo, I can't wait. But I joined a mega gym, a little tip for you. When you join a mega gym, they give you something called a physical trainer to help you out, which was a mistake, folks, because I barely could fit into the kind of pants to work out in this place. But now I've got a commando yelling at me the whole time. I'm trying to hold my own. The guy walks up, he says this. He goes, hey, what level of physical competence are you trying to get to? And I go, listen, I just want to be able to run 10 feet, not taste blood. Do you have that category? <laughs> That's right. And get me off this stepper, okay? I'm going nowhere, happy, clappy, fun boy. <laughs> they don't like it when you call them happy, clappy, fun boy. They make you do three more sets of 10. <laughs> That's bad. Did you hear about this, folks? The guy who threw himself over Niagara Falls and lived? Did you hear about that? Now, folks, God forbid, there is nothing funny about a guy trying to commit suicide. Well, unless he screws it up. <laughs> How do you screw this up? He put a T-shirt on, threw himself over the falls, and lived. What was he doing? Dodging rocks the whole way down? It's not Frogger, it's life. You know what's worse? This guy is now the king of losers. Other losers can look down at this loser. Screech is Kierkegaard compared to this kid. But you know what, folks? I want to help this guy out. I want to figure out a way for him to become even a bigger loser. Bigger loser. You know what I think he should do? During the next blackout, he should just throw himself into a giant meat grinder and just wait. <laughs> you guys want to turn the power on? My ass is starting to itch. <laughs> Screw you, Ernie Eves. <laughs> a lot of youngsters in the crowd. I'm sure you love your boy bands, huh? Your angry boy bands? Yeah. Angry, angry teen bands like Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. Know what I'm saying, dog? Oh, yeah. I love my NSYNC. I follow all the boys. Lance. Last summer, tried to pay $20 million to go to the moon. Did you hear about that? $20 million? Now, I don't know about you folks, but if I had $20 million, I'd pay for Lance to go to the moon. <laughs> Every planet would get a boy band. I personally can't wait for the new kids on the block to get back together Ooh, and fly all the way to Pluto to find people who care. You're in a boy band. Make young girls wet and dance in unison. That's your job description. Not space exploration. <laughs> Step one, we can have lots of fun. Step two, there's so much we can do. Step three, it's just you and me. Step four, I can give you more. Step five, don't you know that the time is right to kill yourself? <laughs> You're in a boy band, get over it. They're not the only boy bands I like. I like these other angry bands like Limp Bizkit and Corn. You know what I'm saying, dogs? Yeah, word up, represent. Anyways, God, I love them, I gotta tell you. I thought they were targeting guys my age, 33, going nowhere, you know what I mean? But they're not. They're targeting a total different age category. Do you know how old they are? 14 year olds, folks. You know what's even funnier than that? angry 14 year olds <laughs> folks what the hell does a 14 year old have to be angry about my cock is hard i can't do my math that's it <laughs> they're 14. i remember rock bands when i was young bands like michael bolton are you with me dogs <laughs> he had a song how can we be lovers if we can't be friends i'm thinking michael two beers Whoa, to the cheap seats. 
sure there's a few people here who smoke the pot. We're in Canada, pot-friendly country. Yeah. Some of you might be high right now. I'm giving out hugs later. <laughs> thing is, folks, we're in Canada. We're a pot-friendly country. That's a good thing. But I don't know if we should make pot legal. We're about two years away from making pot legal. In America, it's a little different. Eight states in America have something called three strikes and you're out. What that means, by your third offense, even simple pot possession, you go to jail for the rest of your life. Can you imagine that? It's a little different in Canada, isn't it? Here, when you get caught with pot, the cops want to share it with you. <laughs> now, think about this. If, if we make pot legal, folks, there will be a tax, like a GST or a PST. So if you buy $60 a pot today, tomorrow, that will be $64.20. <laughs> oh, great. Now my pot dealer has to make change. <laughs> They're not math wizards, the pot pot people. You ever see a guy try to cut a quarter to an eighth? He thinks he smells burnt toast. That's not good, kids. That's not good. They make pot legal here. America will freak out. The border's already crazy. They have dogs that sniff for drugs. We all know that. But did you know that some people actually believe that they get the dogs hooked on the drugs, so they're jonesing for the drugs, so the dogs will find them? Now, folks, I'm not an animal activist, but why not just have her crack whore at the border? <laughs> Anything she finds, she keeps. <laughs> We've all seen a crack whore go through a shag rug for a piece of rock. She'll go through some Samsonite. <laughs> Are you with me, kids? <laughs> I worked at Blockbuster Video, folks, speaking of crack whores. The evil empire, we've all been there. What happens? The second you walk in, every employee comes over and says hello to you, don't they? It's annoying. They come at you so fast, I'm like, hey, I'm here for video, not a friend. <laughs> and when your acting clears up, then we can hang out. <laughs> Manager. Ooh. I had to work one full day, folks. My only job was to stand at the front door and say hello to people on the busiest day of the year. The busiest day. Folks, I felt like a dolphin on crack. Hi, 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 Shoot me up, Daddy. Hi, 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 Folks, I felt worse than a Walmart greeter. At least those people are almost dead. But what, I'm wrong? Last week I was at a Walmart, one had an IV unit. These are on sale in aisle four. Will you please kill me? I'm 90 and I work at Walmart. Last week I crammed myself and my manager changed me. <laughs> Darren Frost, ComedyHorror.com. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey. I work at Blockbuster too, man. Darren Frost, everybody. It's tough. It is tough. We'll be back with the woman.